Hello and welcome to MyCadSite.com and we're here to do uh, an extra practice exercise number five and we're just going to start by drawing the border first. It's a rectangle starting at 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 7 and then a zoom extends to fill up the screen with it. Z enter, E enter. Now by looking at the drawing I can see that there's a logical starting point of 1 comma 1. It gives me an absolute placement in the drawing to start and a line going to 2 comma 2. So I start with the first point, 2 comma 2 for my next point and I'm just going to continue around in the same line command. Next one will be 3 units to the right which is 3 comma 0. These are all relative points. Next one is uh, mistake, so I do a control Z, go back to 0 comma negative 1, and from there I can go two units in the right, which is relative 2 comma 0, and the next angle is 180 minus 135, which gives me a 45 degree angle, so I will type in at 2 angle 45, and next one I'm just going to eyeball since I've been doing this a while and you might recognize it too it's just 90 degrees straight up I could do this as 0 comma 3 or I can also do it at 3 angle 90 now I want to go 1 in the left so that's relative negative 1 comma 0 and 1 up which is relative 0 comma 1 and now coming back three to the left I think you'll all know this one and now I'm going down which will be zero comma negative one point four and then uh, relative negative two point six comma zero and for my last point I'm just going to hit C to close and go back to my original starting point of one comma one so here you have it uh, just another quick exercise using absolute, relative, and polar coordinates. Just going to dimension a couple just to confirm. But I can't stress enough the importance of knowing how to input points accurately in AutoCAD if you need your drawings to be accurate. And once you get the basics done, everything else is going to come easy to you. So thanks for watching.